I've been playing football since kindergarten, and I've been working hard down there right at Excel since I've been in sixth grade, just multiple times a week, every single day. And it's just the hard work part of it. This has taken my whole life, and it's, it's just a great accomplishment that I'm going to tell my kids about someday, and hopefully that they can do, because I want them to play football. But just, just the sense of accomplishment is just, it's unmatched. Jack Cornell has long said of safety Wyatt Mueller that he loves the process of football as much as anyone on the Raider roster. Making Wyatt's Division I commitment on Monday to Illinois State all the sweeter. They gave me an incredible offer and it's just, it's just something that I can't pass up and it's only three hours away. They're a great program, great team. I have a great relationship with the coaches and I just, I'm, I, there's nothing better. You know, it's it's just great program, great people, and I'm just I'm really excited. Talk about his preparation, watching film, studying the playbook, in the weight room, working out, taking care of his body, and playing as hard as he does. I mean, this kid just loves football, loves the preparation aspect of it, and so that's why really this isn't a, a big of a surprise for anybody around here. So it's definitely safety for right now, and then as I would get older, they said that I could maybe transition to like an outside backer hybrid. But for right now, definitely safety and playing on the defensive side of the ball. I think he sees the game really well. I think, you know, he plays quarterback for us as well. He's played quarterback for a long time. I can remember watching him growing up in our youth league playing quarterback. And so I think the way that he sees the game is very cerebral. Wyatt becomes the third member of the local class of 2025 to commit for Division I football. And ironically enough, the second Gem City defensive back to land with the Redbirds. As he is set to pair up neatly with Quincy High's Rico Clay in the secondary in normal for a very bright future. I mean, I'm going to reach out to Rico sometime today just to let him know. And it's really fun just going to college and just at least knowing somebody. Because most of the time you don't know anybody. But I'll know Rico there and it's going to be a blast. But advice for just the little kids that want to play Division One is that it's going to be hard, but if you just trust yourself and just have a good support system, you can do it. With the pressure of making a commitment now off his shoulders, Wyatt's full focus falls to elevating a promising QND defense into one of the state's very best this fall. Super excited defensively. You know, we have a lot of older guys coming back, seniors and juniors, a lot of sophomores that played varsity last year, such as Gavin Dolman, Jace Allensworth. Unfortunately, Gavin Flesner did hurt his knee but we're going to have some younger guys step up to fill his spot. And I'm, I'm really excited. You know, our bond just feels so much different than it has the past few years. And I just feel like if we can bond and just grow together, we're going to be the best team that we can be. 